beer. Well, that is fantastic. As long as you smelt the beer. Welcome, everyone, to the Bobby Player Syndrome podcast, the 40K podcast, brought to you by us, RLG 40K group. Um, it is episode 35, and we are talking about predictions for 2021. I can't think of a fancy title for the episode. And we thank you. <laughs> that was very I lovely just, music. I just typed something into the internet that I should not have typed into the internet. Don't. <laughs> yes, offline. That, that will not the work conversation was a bit title. strange. Yeah, we just decided slightly. to try and get the uh, PG rating out before we even started casting. <laughs> How is everyone? New Year, it's January. We survived twenty twenty. Oh my gosh. <sighs> So let's go. Oh, look, there are people here. If you're not listening, to, if you are not listening to the podcast, you can't see all the faces, but I can because I can point. No, that's not going to work. So that was Isabel who just waved. Hi, Isabel. Hi. How you doing? Oh, we got Michael waving with two hands. Double waving. And we got pistol fingers from Anthony. <laughs> Wiggles. <laughs> <laughs> and we got. The shake of the head, safe from Mark. Safe from Mark. Yes, safe from Mark. Safe yes, from we are all <laughs> safe from Mark. <laughs> and of course, I'm Greg. Of course, I'm Greg. Who else would I be? Well, if we keep talking about run half, could be anyone. Right. <laughs> How is everyone? Everyone have a break over Christmas? Um, kind of. A little. We got a puppy. It went mad. <laughs> I, 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 I did not have a break from drinking. No, yet. no. Yeah, I was doing so well with the uh, drinking, and then Christmas came around, so now I'm back to the gym trying to get rid of my Christmas pudding. I was really doing well with the drinking too. Yeah, you're doing, doing too well. very well with the not drinking. <laughs> I'm not drinking anymore. Not drinking anymore. I'm not drinking any more than I was. Well, we got a bit of a wind tunnel going on. Someone, someone's got their mic maybe too close to their face. It's just rubbing. That might have well, been I've got a fan, but I don't think it's me because I'm coming through my <laughs> headphones. Uh, did like that Anthony. stop it? Yeah, that did. There we go. That was me, apparently. Oh, there you go. Radio mic causing trouble. Radio mic was static. Who would have thought? <laughs> oh, what a surprise. I had the fans are new because of life. Yes, <laughs> because of life. Fair enough. So, we're here. It's the first episode for the year. Episode 35. Who would have thought we'd get this far? Thank you to the small town in the US who listened to us. Appreciate it. Four <laughs> people. <laughs> Boardman, Oregon. That's who it is. That's who it is. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Sorry, what, what, what town was it? Boardman. Broadman. Oh, that's Boardman. right. Yes. Yeah, as in yeah no, Broadman. No, I know. No, no R. Like, like Bradman, Boardman. Board, as in a plank of wood. Board. Yeah. I can't got or, it. Or they're listening board. to us and it's <laughs> that, a, that man's bored in Oregon <laughs> listening to us. No, who knows? We do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. And this your one's town, for you. Honestly. <laughs> and when we do our tour of the US after all of this craziness has finished, yeah. we're coming. The celebrity tour. Make sure there's a ticket parade, everything. Yep. We're staying the night. Just let us yeah. know if there's a good bar there. We'll go. That, that's all we need. Yeah, and, and we <laughs> can join bar. us. So, we'll get through all the new normal stuff straight away so we can get into our predictions, shall we? So, normally we talk about new releases. Now, we do know that Games Workshop have changed new releases to be every two weeks. The bonus of that is, because we only do this podcast every month, we only have to do two new releases. There won't be as much stuff. Yeah! <laughs> so, Michael, what happened this month? Um, I feel like I'm missing a couple, because I feel like there can't be this few. But uh, we've had Codex Death Guard has just gone up on pre-orders. Oh, well, I want to uh, bitch and whinge about that too. Yeah, I was going to talk about that because they've done some interesting things in that Codex, haven't they? Do you want to whinge about it first or do you want I me to... I want to whinge uh, the fact that I can't get a copy of the Codex. Oh. Yep. Okay, so... yeah, I've heard things about the actual content of the Codex. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. No, I went to our local uh, Jolt and said, I, I, can I pre-order our, um, my Codex? Is it? And they said, no. What do you mean, yeah. no? We've been pre-allocated three books. Yep. Yeah, and, and uh, you're the fourth the, person to ask for it. Is it? The uh, the new 2021 rules are like fuck local stores, basically. Yeah, that does um, look like it. They're all like it, Emerald have put like a big splash screen on their thing, saying like, "We apologize that Games Workshop product is so hard to fucking get, 
um, it's not our fault. It's coming yeah. from GW. Well, to be fair, I mean, they are kind of imprisoned in their houses at the moment over there in England. Yeah, and, like... And Brexit has kicked in, so there's, like, tariffs and all kinds of crazy <laughs> stuff going on. Yeah, so... Well, all of, all of that cheap mineral they used to import from different areas of Europe, yeah, that's gone. <laughs> well, Games Workshop were in the news uh, on the BBC, like, last week, because they're one profits. of the few companies it's basically not affected. Yeah, it's a huge profit. <laughs> because and Games Workshop gives huge. zero fucks. Yeah, so... We are talking about predictions, and I was going to talk about stock levels and stuff as part of the predictions. Sorry, so. we, uh, we skipped yeah. what came out. Yeah, so what came <laughs> out? Yeah. So, no, look, I was just really what frustrated. I've been hanging out for a death oh, not guy, the as time. you know. And um, <laughs> to, to get told that I was the fourth person to ask for a pre order and go, no, nah, it's already sold out. Went, yeah, you, what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can put your name down, but it might be another fortnight before I get it. And going, no. So I went online to order it through GW. Sold out. Yeah. Yep. I still haven't got a fucking Promaris Gladiator tank. Like, huh. it's crazy. Um, so th- this month, uh, ju- just up for pre-order is Codex Death Guard, as just discussed. Yep. Uh, the Death Guard's new Combat Patrol. Yeah. I don't recall having a good look at it, although I recall, typhus someone in complaining. It. You get typhus I recall in some it. I recall someone complaining that it's not actually a legal army unto itself. Uh, it's Typhus, Poxwalkers, there's normal there's some Marines kind of, and a Terminator. There's some kind of rule about you can only take so many Poxwalkers per normal squads or something. Like, 20 I don't walkers. know the details. I just saw in passing someone complaining that it's not illegal. Well, army. the old codex was 20 Poxwalkers in a squad. Yeah. And I, I, I hope they've changed that if you know, they no longer have disgust and resilience that you should be able to have a bigger swarm to get that survivability back. Hmm. So yeah. they also released the data cards, uh, the yep. Lord of Virulence, which I think is just a rebox. Nope. Uh, I'm not he's sure. He's a brand new, new. Brand new. Cool. I wasn't sure. I was like, Lord of Virulence, that sounds like so something's already is, come out. He's a, basically a lot of Lord of a Chaos Lord, but he's going to be hanging around with all the um, tanks and stuff. He gives the bonuses to uh, okay. vehicles. So I thought, like, great, like that's a, why they're giving a flamer. <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, there's a miasmic malignifier, which looks like it's kind of a piece of terrain. Almost. Yes, I, I did actually pre. I have managed to be able to pre-order the data cards, the the, the, the miniature and the terrain, but not the actual code. Can I just take issue with that miasmic malignifier? Yeah. yeah look, Nurgle has wacky it names for like shit. Of, sounds like a piece of science from a well, Jules Verne novel. <laughs> it's like bloody, you know, the the. Uh, the the, 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 the the Nurgle demon stuff, the sloppity bile piper, yeah. etc. <laughs> you know. Okay. Uh, and there's a pox walker box. Is that a rebox or is that like a new box? No, it's a new box because normally you'd have to buy them in boxes of six. Now you can ah. buy them in boxes of ten. I need a new noise. Yeah. So that's new. Uh, um, that's um, all still pre-order stuff. So by the time you listen to this, it'll be out, <laughs> except for the codex. Uh, and I think that's all from GW themselves. Uh, side note, Forge World pre-orders Escher Fear Cats, which uh, I'm excited about because it's Necromunda shit. <laughs> uh, and stop the clock. It Fear took him uh, all of 8 minutes 49 to start talking about Necromunda in a 40k podcast. There we go! <laughs> it's still 40k, you rude. Yeah, Necromunda is in 40k. Yeah, it's true. We've still got the it's count going hard down hard. for Age of Sigma. First person... <laughs> So, yeah, I guess not much has come out at the start of the year, has it? No, not a lot yet. Uh-huh. Which is, is kind of good because I kind of haven't heard of anything. <laughs> well, I was surprised. I, you know, in December they put back the Death Guard book to January for, you know, whatever reasons. I thought, well, does that, I would have thought there would be more than just the one codex come out in January because mm. I would have thought they would have had a schedule and they would have just had to slot Death Guard into January as well as Codex ABC. Can I make a pre-prediction yeah, before you have predictions? A pre-prediction before the prediction? I'm thinking that because of the situation in the UK, because of the lockdown, because of the the, the, the work that they probably can't get done, that the shipments they probably can't organise immediately, they're probably staggering releases much more than they would have otherwise. Could be. Could be. We'll talk about that in predictions. So I would, I would suspect we're going to get a much fewer, like a, a oh. much more staggered release. So we've run out of content for the prediction side of things. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, um, just as an example, like, I feel like maybe they're having a lot of production and shipping problems still. Yeah. 
because my calendars for 2021 from GW showed up today. It's still and 2021. you would expect those to show up. Yes, you would expect them to show up in December. <laughs> so December that was weird. It still works. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, I was broken? like, no, they're just like, I wanted to put them up when January started. And it's, we're running out of January. Well, maybe you think of it this way. Now you got extra 20 days of January. <laughs> <laughs> just so cram it all in. That's it. <laughs> it Positives, Michael. Through. Positives. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah, short on the oh. new releases. Bit of frustration, but uh, I think we know some of the reasons why. Yeah. But I've heard that the uh, the new codex does some weird stuff with like the contents of some of the squads. Like really? apparently oh, they've changed. Thank apparently you. they've changed how Plague Marine squads work now. Um, whereas the old one, it was like you know anyone in the squad can have two plague knives, or you can have two uh, of this special weapon, and you can have two of this oh, axe well, or this mace. Now it's you can have w- one per five may take a mace. One per five may take two knives. One per five oh, may, really? may take. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't have a whole squad with knives anymore. For I example. think that's good. And it means <laughs> that it just it basically a lot of people are like, well, it lines it up exactly with kind of like you can only in a five man squad you can only take what's in the box. Yeah. You can't take more than one copy of the different things because there's only one copy of the different things in the box. But it's pissing off a lot of people who put a lot of money into buying extra copies of stuff so that their squads yeah, can yeah. have like because shit that doesn't you would suck. Choose. You'd either have a squad that um, all guns, or make them all knives. Yeah, you can't you do that. Don't you have two knives per five. Sense that you can have a fucking knife though. Sorry. Oh, they also they all have one knife. I mean, yeah. I get I get the tech like the 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 technical game aspect of it fine freaking knife uh, yeah but they all, they all come with one knife but they all have the ability to swap their gun for a second knife yeah so they become they swap their bolter uh, yeah. for another knife okay yeah and so you'd have to shove them in a rhino drive them up jump them out and cause mayhem jump out and got... knife people and, yeah. and they they're, they're not just like a regular knife either they're, they're a plague like plague knife. Plague it's knives. a plague knife it's so... a bullshit it's a knife dipped in shit is what it is <laughs> uh but apparently also like the Terminator box from what I've read, they've changed it so that it's not each member may take a combi weapon from the combi weapon list. It's one in five may take this combi weapon. One in five may take this combi weapon. One in five may take oh, this combi wow. weapon. So you can't have a whole squad of combi plas, for example. No. That's what I've read. I haven't looked to physically held the codex. I've seen screenshots and people discussing it. Wow. And I was like, I didn't know if you'd heard that or not. No, I had not seen or heard that. Interesting. Yeah. That part won't affect me because I've, I've only got one combi plasma, the rest are combi bolts. Because that's what's in the box. Correct. <laughs> Correct. What's in the box? In the box. <laughs> what's in the box? In the box? Yeah. What's in the box? <laughs> so, how Excellent. about people's yeah, hobby parents? progress? Hobby progress, Mark, since you brought it up. How about you tell us? Uh, mine is zero. Um, <laughs> I played a game, though. <laughs> well, we'll talk yes. about it soon. <laughs> Uh, That's in battle progress, battle reports. Yeah, yeah. After. Hobby progress it led you to it. Yeah. Quick, Mark. Michael's drinking. Quick, ask him. Hobby progress. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I built a bunch of Indomitus stuff. Now that it's finally arrived, <laughs> so I've been knocking out Indomitus models. Uh, still haven't finished painting that last gang of Necromunda guys, which I really should do. Yes. To be complete. And I finally got some air paint, so I can start testing out this airbrush now that I can't buy the bloody spray paint anymore to undercoat my models. Why can't you buy the spray paint? Because, because they stopped making it, because Games Workshop do that. They get you hooked. They, they don't <laughs> make spray paint anymore? Certain no, colors. they stopped making Dark Angel Green spray paint. Oh. Yeah, they used to do it, which was super handy, so I started <laughs> undercoating all my models in it, and then they changed it. And now you can't make it. You check the they, they don't make it, and you can't then get they it. they couldn't sell you small bottles of stuff that would go hard, and you have to buy a new bottle after three. Oh, months. the paint <laughs> bottles. Oh. Anyway. So did you uh, <laughs> did you end up trying that um, Anto, airbrush? What are you? Cameras? Not yet. I, I got the air at the game, but I haven't had a chance to moved. test it out yet. Mm. <laughs> I'm not moving. <laughs> yeah. To to ruin Anthony's camera, let's ask him about his hobby progress. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Yes, I promised to get a new camera for the next podcast, but then I was amazing. Not. So, my hobby progress has been good. <laughs> I've nearly painted all the Indominus box set. I've only... Nice. Uh, wow. I sold the Necrons, let's not talk about them. <laughs> the, the actual Primaris, I've painted them. They are, I must say, they are unreal models. They're really cool. I mean, and big space screens are so easy to paint. <laughs> it's, just, it's so much easier. But no, I'm, I'm loving it. I've started the Blood Angels third company, which will be the Primaris company for me, um, led by my Feston. So, yep, it's going good. I've got, I think it's just, uh, just over 200 points. And I'm working on the Assault Marines at the moment. So, they're very cool. The Outriders, the bikes, they're some of the best. The Akira bikes? Ever. Yeah, they are unreal. And when, <laughs> when I put it sideways and I'm looking at it and go, oh, I've got to watch Akira now. I just have to watch it. Yeah, watch <laughs> it, but don't watch the ending because we all know it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> watch watch the ending. Akira and then think of your own ending. <laughs> you. You, you have to watch the ending. I mean, the, but the whole one point. day we will be. If <laughs> hey, just if, like if if the weird shit meter doesn't go into the red, you're not watching Akira. I'm sorry. Just, just get your VHS and just tape over the end of Akira <laughs> with like the end of Macross, where like Minmay comes out and sings the aliens to death. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that is a better ending. Akira was terrible. It's just like. We've just taken so much cocaine! Jesus Christ! Wow, how do we end this thing? Oh my god! And then someone's like, like woken up from like a, a cocaine freaking dream sleep. But one day, we will be! And that was it. That was it. Hope you recorded that shit! Yeah! <laughs> Good. Is have you done any hobby? Well, uh. Um... Can you beat Mark? I paid some cleaners to come over and dust my Necromunda box that I haven't opened since pre-COVID. <laughs> I'm going to say I, I that beats that Mark. I don't think that counts. I also, I also attempted to play Necromunda last night. Yeah. We did try. Like not, not, not the actual board, board style. We're talking the computer game. Yeah. And it was incredibly shit and we failed. Couldn't get away. We had no problems the first time, but last night, no, nah, didn't like us. Yeah, it's all right. I was I was nearly late to the start of the podcast because I was faffing around with the Van Sar gang in there. There you go. I still haven't painted mine. <laughs> it's easy to paint it on the computer. Just yeah. I haven't painted my computer game either, but I did no. name my entire gang after Bronte sisters. <laughs> <laughs> and my gang because I went, oh, I'm gonna call them, and I was drinking Stomping Ground beer, so it's the Stomping Ground gang. <laughs> Gibbs and, and and yeah, they're all after the beer. It's good. It actually suits. It worked. <laughs> it's great. So I have done some hobby progress. I've gone back to streaming on the Tuesday and Thursday nights. Yes, I told people I would be doing more hobby nights. I've been working on uh, the assassins, the Imperial assassins, and I got the three of them done, um, which uh, I enjoyed painting them. I used contrast paint for most of them. The um, Calidus. I tried the uh, metallic color shifting paints, um, which is meant to be for an air air gun, air gun, yeah. But it seemed to work, so it was good. Um, but that's about it. And I've got a lot of half ass projects done. <laughs> so that's my hobby is now finish all the projects I started last year. So that's the uh, twenty five pox walkers. Yeah, the salamanders before the Indominus box turned up. Fuck. <laughs> all the rest of the death guard more so i've got to finish all that up before i will start building anything more i was going to that's say re- i was going to say whenever someone says- buy anymore but yeah, we know that's not true <laughs> <laughs> yeah whenever someone says new year new army i'm like how about new year finishing old fucking projects yeah <laughs> Because yeah. that's my new year, trying to finish old bloody projects. I did yeah, work yeah, out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and finish this guy, my Carnifex here. Um, nice. This year. Nice. That's this a, year, it's a and one goal. model for the whole year. It's a, I, yeah, it's set, a set your bar goal, high, but... mate. Set your bar high. Okay, okay. I <laughs> all of you. I am gonna try and finish the sequel to my first novel this year. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to do with Warhammer. <laughs> writing it since 2017. So let's get happy. 
and it is a good book. The first book was good. Just wait is for there the sequel patiently. Tree? Yep. Sorry? Your first one? No, there's, I don't know if there's ever going to be a dead tree edition because oh. I just... Likes trees? You've there's got to have problem. dead tree books. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to put in some effort to get a dead tree edition. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to actually do something. Can't have that. No, no. That takes away from your drinking and gaming. <laughs> to be fair, doing <laughs> stuff sucks. <laughs> what, time, what time is beer o'clock again? I've got to go get one. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to move into Battle that other thing. Better report, Battle thank you. <laughs> 35 episodes, you'd think I'd get it right. <laughs> hey, we haven't had any technical issues yet, so there's a win. Don't, don't say that. <laughs> waiting, don't waiting for something to fall. <laughs> I can smell it. Definitely going to rain here tonight. The roof falls in. Yeah, wait for it. <laughs> it's not technically a technical issue. Right, so hobby progress is done. Now we go to battle reports. Now, has apart from the one that we did on Sunday, has anyone actually had any games? Look at that! Look at that excitement. <laughs> nope. No. Okay. So. No. Yesterday. I to. Yesterday being Sunday, um, we had our first gathering, and I'm going to let, throw it over to Mark because Mark organised the gathering. It was much fun. Mark, tell us about. Tell us a story. It was indeed. Um, so um, I've been concocting a uh, scenario for uh, a Starship Troopers reenactment for, for many moons. Um, and I ha actually had Greg go over this with me a bit. Um, and then we put it out to the rest of the group who, and we were met with stunning silence um, <laughs> as far as feedback for whether people thought this mission was any good or not. So, um, so yeah, last week we decided to uh, play test it effectively. Um, and um, it, it was epic and it was awesome, actually. I, I only had to make, uh, let's see, a page and a bit of, you, nobody can see that, but anyway. Um, <laughs> no, the podcast listeners can see that, mate. To make it less, uh, less sucky. Um <laughs> But, um, I was actually really happy with the balance was for it. Unreadable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. Um, what was I the mean, scenario? So the scenario was basically trying to reenact that scene from Starship Troopers where they're defending the fort. So we sort of had a fort set up and a defense line and Tyranids would run at that line and respawn when they died and and we had all kinds of house rules like being able to shoot into melee combat and having... Was there a house rule where if you said, kill them, kill them all, you got an extra re-roll? Actually, that didn't uh, come up very often. What came up a lot no. was... Um, uh, Dizzy getting killed? That was... That was, that was... <laughs> there was a lot of first rank fire, second yeah. rank fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... At least I got to have you first. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Yeah, that. It... <laughs> so some of the photos from the day are coming up at the moment, and um, Anto and myself just need to lean. Uh, no, the other way, Anto. So you still yeah, and Michael to sit up tall so you can still see your face. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to be seen, go the other way. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so go on. Um, so basically, the scenario is the Tyranids. Uh, and gene stealer cults or whatever horde you have run at the fort keep respawning until um basically they either wipe out the other people or they get to uh evacuate uh it was a four plus roll starting from turn four. Oh fuck's sake yeah and you guys failed it what three times we needed a four i rolled a three then we needed a three we rolled a two then we needed a two and we rolled a one yeah and then the Tyranids <laughs> ate everyone. Delicious. So, yeah. Um, so it was. So yes, it was. It was a lot of fun. We had the Morlock come up in the middle of the castle and everything that that sort of freaked the hell out of twice, everybody. And... Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And um, yeah. Oh, some of the pictures are fantastic. Like you just sort of have that swarm coming over the walls as they're sort of trying to desperately fend off. 
Yeah. So uh, I I think it turned out really well. Like yeah. So we had three thousand points for Tyranids and Gene Stealer Colts. Yeah. Versus about two and a half versus Imperial Guards. So Catachan, uh, Vostroyan, and Admech. Yeah. Yeah. With no vehicles, no vehicles, heavy, no other than elites. my two little transport trucks, which are barely vehicles. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the mining lasers though. <laughs> they so, weren't on the transport trucks; they were on the Neil infantry. Patrick Harris, though, that was the important. I part. brought Yarrick, and he was my Neil Patrick Harris. He he killed somebody with his laser eye. He it did. was brilliant. With my eye, he, he killed, he killed my freaking warlord with the eye. He I, stared I, my warlord. He did. Death, he killed your warlord with his eye. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My no. warlord just charged in and went whiff. <laughs> oh. I'm just go what with my eye. Look into my <laughs> we eye. Do have, we do have kudos points for would people, you search, um, would you? which is based around um, cool stuff happening during the game. Actually, you probably should have gotten kudos for the uh, for the eye. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it kind of got overshadowed by Rob decimating. Um, <laughs> Killing like, like every other commander. <laughs> yeah, he basically killed every commander on the board. Not on his team. <laughs> no, no, not in the opposition. That's right. And, and um, he rolled the one. He should get kudos for rolling the one. <laughs> you really Two should. plus to win. <laughs> <laughs> and and let's let's not forget your own friendly fire antics oh, yeah. uh, there, Greg. Yep. Uh, you, you, Rob wasn't the only <laughs> no, one picking not. off units <laughs> of oh, their own. I thought their toughest wow, five. They should survive eight. that. It was like eight, Rob. Oh, it was like sixteen shots, and I think about fourteen of them were into my <laughs> own was my own troops, and everything <laughs> wounded. I went, oh, you got to be kidding me! Was <laughs> <laughs> that? Because that was fantastic. Because you shot my gants, yeah, which are the easiest thing to kill on the face of the earth, and killed two of them, yeah. and then yeah. proceeded to kill like stuff with armor and yeah. wounds. fourteen was... wounds on my own team. It was good. It was amazing. <laughs> like, did you roll like eighteen dice and got like fourteen hits on your own guys? Yeah, like, and then yeah. wounded about fourteen then, of them and, as well. Yeah, so, and then. So, Fucking annihilated them. Yeah, yeah, because it was all the plasma the guns and all of the all of the stuff that missed me was the the non las gun stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you didn't have much chance. It was awesome. So, I'm so, so proud. Danger yeah. close is a fantastic <laughs> rule. Guards fall. I think it yeah. needs to be. I mean, if it was, if it was yeah. if it was Space Marines, you'd be upset. Mm. You'd be concerned about that sort of thing. But guard is just like, oh yeah. Well, that's no, what no, I no. It, it, This was an Admech tank type. It was an Admech, Admech Catafron. Like, it wasn't yeah. guard. So he was yeah. a wreck. Guard. Well, that's what I thought. He was tough as five. No, 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 He's no, got no, a no. decent armor side. Even if I hit him, he should cyborgs. be fine. <laughs> nah. This thing looked like <laughs> looked like Ed guard. 209. Yeah, yeah, well, you know what happened to Ed 209. Yeah, yeah. You have five seconds to comply. <laughs> yeah, well, Johnny Five's not fucking alive. No, no, he's not. Ed 209 scared the living shit. It was a lot of fun, and uh, I can't believe we could not get off the damn rock. Um, we are not going back to pee. Standing <laughs> <laughs> ovation. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be... Uh, I'll, I'll, hey, I'll probably post up version 2 of that mission sheet to um, to reflect some of the changes we made. Can I, uh, and can that I way offer people can play at home if they you want. You may offer a change. I think if they... And I, I accept him we've won, and I'm, I don't want to change that. No, I, I, I don't know. Another turn, we would have won. But I think if they get through to turn seven and they're still alive, the evacuation should come automatically. Well, I think, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, we had... Well, no, the that's next... not how this rolls. You know, you, this has got to be 1960s pre-Star Wars sci-fi dark, you know. Like oh, it's... I don't know. I reckon you get seven turns against the amount of Tyranids we threw at them. Seven turns against <laughs> yeah. that, yeah. seriously. Yeah. Because if you go much past that, what's just going to happen is they're going to do an exterminatus on the planet. Yeah, and exactly. Then, uh, at yeah. seven, at turn seven, they're not sending the transport; they're sending cyclonic torpedoes. Yes. So I, I really wanted to play the bit where we got to eat the gene steal the colt as well. I reckon that would be yeah. Fun. <laughs> turn on them. Yeah, <laughs> we completely surrounded them by the end of the game. We won! Yeah. We won! <laughs> <laughs> and to celebrate, <laughs> let's have a feast. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> we'll throw you a special celebration dinner. Yeah. <laughs> but I try to make sure, yeah, the commissar was we there the for. We are the guests of honor. Yeah. 
brought the commissar, <laughs> I brought the guy with the big power oh, fist up there one. to be um, red check. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Long day, a lot of fun. Oh, God, yeah. Long dice rolls. Very long Ah, oh, well, <laughs> it could be quicker if we get dis- different participants. <laughs> And the number of times Rob was sitting there being like, Greg, can I roll yet? Can I roll yet? Oh. <laughs> so many ones. It'd be great. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I would like to do it again. It was it was good. Yeah, the tweaks on it, I think, yeah. Um, it should play well. Um, someone commented, I think uh, Steve came down and watched and so he commented maybe you have a bit more of a um, apocalypse sort of rule set to it. Yeah, that that could work quite well actually. Yeah. So someone's deep breathing. Model for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not looking at anyone. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. All. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I would like to do this year is play another apocalypse game. I really enjoy it. Apocalypse is great. Yeah, you've got enough knights, you might be able to field a team. <laughs> I guaranteed have enough knights and titans to field the team. Yeah. What's the minimum points value? Um, For Apocalypse, there isn't one, no. technically. I, I think don't you think. should actually create a Blood Bowl team out of your knights. <laughs> <laughs> Against oh. the halflings. <laughs> oh. Halfling wins because they're straight through the legs. <laughs> one, foot, one foot is half the board. <laughs> Now block it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, the Knights divvy up into two teams. Uh, shirts <laughs> versus skins. The hard part is collecting enough skins. Beautiful. <laughs> 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 it's really gross. And I'm like... <laughs> you just hit on actually what I want to do with my next arm. <laughs> <laughs> A skin wearing yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. I like it. Horse. Big leather coat. It's not leather. <laughs> well, it is. It's yeah, just yeah. People leather. <laughs> cool. All right. So that's that's that, that's our regular stuff. Yeah. Good. Out of the way. So we can mm-hmm. move on to the cool stuff. You know, the ad break. <laughs> who's who's leading the ladder? Oh, so we, the ladder is refreshed. And it's a new ladder. We've included Necromunda into this ladder. I don't know how that's going to work. Are there actually victory points and stuff in the Necromunda? Well, there are winners. You know, there is a winner of the game. Are there? Are there winners of Necromunda? Technically, <laughs> aren't, aren't we all winners when we're playing Necromunda? I agree. We are all winners oh. when we're playing it. Unless it's the fucking computer version. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Then we are all waiters. <laughs> all are punished yeah cool so yeah new ladder so because no game uh, the people who participated yesterday do get bonus points for turning up on the monthly beach yeah so there's six people who are in first place don't we get <laughs> yeah. a win hey. we get a win equal first equal first well, I don't we know about the win yeah, I was, I was we get wondering the win. about that yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see <laughs> we win. no I can't get the win because that means I'm not on top default. yeah exactly <laughs> I'm going to start my own ladder. We'll, we'll talk <laughs> talk about that off, 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 uh, off air, mate. Okay. <laughs> I'm not losing any more games to you, Greg. I'm just putting it this year. We'll start our own ladder. That's, it, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, we should have... Yeah, we'll go with our predictions for this year, GW, but we'll also put in our own goals for this year. <laughs> yeah, big freak. Yeah. It's not going to lose against me. That means I'm never going to get to play against you, isn't it? Right. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I said it. All right, let's go to ad break. You have 30 seconds to go get yourself something you want to get. <laughs> Can I just settle for a beer? Because I think a root's not likely in the moment. 30 seconds. Woo. I've got you only 20 seconds of cuddling. Beer. What? I'll be right back. <laughs> we are rollers and we have the games for you. Be it board games, card games, dice games or party games. You name it and we have it. Find us online at rollersboardgames.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at rollersboardgames. From acoustic to distortion, Storyboard Concept is music that's honest, relaxing and full ball rockin' music. Follow Colin at storyboardconcept.bandcamp.com
Uh, and we are back with microphones. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> hey. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the adverts. Yes, we also thank you to uh, Storybook Concept for our music. Um, and uh, what's his name? Sam, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that guy who we who you've only lived with your entire life. Not entire life. I don't live with him now. That'd be a bit weird. Well, for a long time. For anyway. a long time. Yes, I've known him all his life. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> right. That, so, yes, that guy. He's helped us with the uh, um, uh, the artistry. What am I looking for? Words. Help me. The logos and stuff like that. And uh, if you watch my stream, uh, you'll see I have a new icon. I'm not sure if I like the pot belly that he's given me for the new red belly symbol. <laughs> I've asked for a six pack. He gave, gave me the keg. So, <laughs> well, look. Sometimes the truth is much more painful than it's a six pack protection device. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I have a six pack. It's in the esky There's underneath. About four in there. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a really good belly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw it. <laughs> Kind of like it, and then I go, no, maybe not. <laughs> is that is, is that a slapping hand or a... <laughs> you can, it can be whatever you want it to be, Anton. <laughs> Ooh, slapping hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be so hard to get a root in 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get to our monthly topic. Uh, our predictions for 2021 in the hobby world. Uh, we'll probably focus mainly on... The, on Games Workshop side of things, and we'll talk about. Um, okay, apparently, we now have added another bit what our goals are for this year. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I have to change the title! Fucking dickheads! <laughs> Go! So, we had gave Mike one task at the end of the last podcast. He was going to go back, listen to the podcast from January last year to work out what our predictions were then, and find out how wrong we were. It you know, sounds like that was you had just one job, but he had to listen to the podcast. Oh fuck! Well, we'll, put our, we'll put our yeah, listeners up by one. <laughs> I said I will try and do it, assuming no one else can be. Bothered. There is no try. There is do or do not. <laughs> oh. Hey, I've got I've got my uh, my my uh, predictions from last oh, year because so last year I wrote mine down and kept the same piece of paper for <laughs> twelve months. Kept no, I kept it in a text file on my desktop where I keep all the podcast stuff because I'm organised. <laughs> How many unpainted models do you have? <laughs> Fucking shit stuff. <laughs> but they're stacked <laughs> organised! <laughs> can, can I ask one question? How many models do you have? <laughs> More than two. Harry the Pan. A lot. <laughs> It's a lot more than fucking shit does, I've got to say. <laughs> Alright, so how did you go with your predictions? Actually, mine were really good. Um, I predicted that we might get 9th edition. I think we all predicted that, didn't we? We yeah. all predicted that yeah. one, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Even I predicted that, and I don't know anything. <laughs> to be honest, it was kind of telegraphed. No, yep. we were very smart. Shut up, Mark. <laughs> I predicted uh, that the lion would finally fucking come out, uh, which he did. I finally got my lion. See? Uh, it just it hasn't come out in fucking 40k yet. Um, and I predicted that there would be more updated codexes, which there were. Uh, they updated the Space Marine Codex and stuff like that. Well, it was the uh, Psychic Awakening was also a lot of updated their codexes through that way. Yeah. And that was kind of it. That was my specific ones. Yeah, cool. for some reason. I failed, because I, I think I was looking at maybe Eldar getting some new models or something. Oh, uh, they know, did, though. They got the Incubi. Yep. Yeah, but, like, like I was expecting, like, new Guardians, Guardians or something. Yeah. You know, like they have a new Guardian there. now. You've seen the carcass on the base of the model. Who's that on? Oh, the uh, witch. What's her name? Uh, Lilith Hestrax. Lilith, yeah, the carcass of a guardian. It's a new guardian armor. <laughs> uh, the one that all the fanboys hate because they're dumb. I got was hoping for some like Primaris treatment on Eldar. Big world. Yeah, yeah, I I think um 
I was actually going to say that's going to be was one of well, if not a prediction, something I hope would happen that the Eldar range would get a bit refreshed because some of those models are really old. Some. Some yeah. of us are really old too, though. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of factions have got some very old models. <coughs> God. <laughs> God, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, these the Cadians. Uh, there were, I saw a great thing about uh, the glow up of the Cadian Imperial Guardsman. Yeah. It was 5th Ed, picture of the plastic Guardsman. 6th yeah. Ed, the same Guardsman. 7th, yeah. 8th, ninth, yeah. the same yeah. plastic I've seen it Guardsman. With the corn Berserkers <laughs> is the same as well. Yeah, but, <laughs> They're all the same. Yeah. yeah of the same shitty paint job they've had on GW for the whole time. <laughs> look at, look at, um, you know, the, the, look at the Katachan. Katachan. Right? The Katachans. Yeah. The, yep. the, so the photo dates from like 1992 and they, they painted crazy eyes yes. on one of the models. It's hilarious. You can see like the original Katie Katachan box set that yep. the models in that look so different from the more re- more recent like command sprues and stuff. They're painted so differently. Yeah, yeah. Well, all of mine are the original box army set because I picked up. It was uh, you. They were games game covered games covered. That's what it was. Remember Back when fucking guardsmen oh, yeah, came in they, boxes they at twenty. Closed down in yeah, about... but they were closing down though, so it was buy one box, get another box free. So I got the two battle boxes oh. of Cat Chance. I got sweet. <laughs> Good heavens. Yeah. So yeah, that's how I got my. So you have all the Cat Chance that exist in the world. I do, <laughs> and they're blue <laughs> to piss everyone off. <laughs> I've got a bunch of plastic Cat somewhere. Well, not if I can find them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more coach has pin in it. That army's got the pin in it apart from the two that I've still got to put together and paint with chart. Yeah, we we've heard it all before, Greg. <clears throat> Predictions! Get back to the topic. <laughs> what is it? Are we going in turns? I yeah, Michael. No, because we can't remember any of our predictions. I remember predicting I that ninth edition will drop. <laughs> what was that, Anthony? I know my predictions. Oh, there you go. What were your predictions from last year? Well, apart from ninth, yeah. I predicted it would be a Primaris Chaos Force, which was really wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I predicted a Flyer Skimmer type model for Primaris, which we kind of got. Well, which we the did get. Well, I'm not sure well, yeah, we out. did get. Is it out yet? It's yeah. definitely in the codex. But yeah. um, I Is that fucking is thing it? out? I don't think it's come out yet, has it? No, I don't they keep teasing it, but they haven't brought it out yet. They're Definitely edging the so hard on that thing. Yeah. They're edging. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard. I just Not waiting for it to come out. No, edging. Edging. Yeah, yeah. They are edging. It was a very oh, deliberate they term. They really are. They keep this showing us really pictures good. of it. These this fantastic really edited models. All time. <laughs> So this year we're going to our I'm younger so edging markets. Over that <laughs> one. Ooh, edging the whole year. The Primaris edging. It's going to come out, and I'm just going to spray it all green. <laughs> no, not out yet. And not yeah, with his not airbrush. Out. What? Well, that'll be the end of the edging. <laughs> yeah. Highlight it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm here all week. Yes. So, so Ante, the rest of your predictions. Please. <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh, I don't right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I yeah. mean, fingers crossed that there's going to be a primary chaos traitor force coming out before Christmas, so I can get that one right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we want to talk about our predictions this this year for this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Isabel, you are on my left on my screen, so I'm going to start with you because you are the one who's got the finger on the pulse. Not oh on 40k. God, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I've got my finger on the pulse of something, yeah. and it's going really well for me right now, but certainly not 40k. So um, I'm going to say that we're going to get a lot more female miniatures this year. That's my prediction. Of Across all armies... I think we're going to get a lot more female miniatures. I read an article about that because you know, and in... I'm not. I'm not. It's not a joke. I'm. I'm serious. Yeah. And we fucking should get a lot more female. I, so, so I read an article about why there are no female storm stormtroopers. Welcome to the Star Wars podcast, people. I have. <laughs> you want to hear about my dream about a female stormtrooper? It's very not, important. Not right now. <laughs> um, hot. So. I apologise to her because originally Rogue Traded, there were female space marines. 
it was two models, two metal models of them. Um, yeah, they look like shit, but still, they, yeah, but they, they were, all yeah. look like shit. Yeah. So the reason they were removed and they became out is because of marketing. People weren't buying them. Remember, this is the eighties, so women when can't wear armor. That's right, men were men. Yeah, uneducated. Yeah, and that was purely because people did not want to buy them. And the retailers saying, "We're sending these back. We don't want them. Can you please bring more of the men Marines because that's the ones people are buying." That is purely we why. So that was the reason muscle. why it wasn't law. So all the dickheads out there saying, no, law, it's law. So no, it's not. It it was marketing. It came down to people weren't buying them. Look, everything becomes changed now. It's law when they say it's law and it stops being law when they change it. Correct. That's how law works. Exactly. (laughs) Good old record. I hope you're right. We've got a choice. We've We've either got female space marines Hmm. or all space marines are gay. It's very simple. They have to fuck somebody. So it's either going to be female space marines or all of them are gay. Oh, just no, fine. No, they are heavily no based on Greco-Roman and they're all about those warrior bonds between men. And, and there are fucking... eunuchs. Yeah. According to a, a YouTube video. I no. Was it YouTube? No way they are. They well, are absolutely randy as hell with each other. Hey, look. I play the chapter that's named after a gay poet. Like, the first cast look it up. Is made after. <laughs> no, like uh, Lionel Johnson was a, gay, a poet who wrote a, a thing called the Dark Angel about how he was in love with this guy and wanted to fuck him, who was his Dark Angel. Oh, huh. well, that's what the, that's what the Dark Angels are named after. No wonder <laughs> like, <it's> emo. <laughs> Look how queer it is. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, so, no, look, I, there you no, go. Seriously. Who would have thought Wobby Player Space Syndrome Marines, education? Canon, gay. <laughs> or there are female Space Marines. Choose. Don't the sisters fill that void a bit? No. Not, no. There's no way. They're not. The they're I'm going to quote here. I guarantee different. a yeah. Space Marine blows a load like a shotgun through her back. <laughs> <laughs> That's because they don't, God. sisters don't have the transhuman <laughs> physiology. They can't withstand that kind of firepower. That's yeah. it. The only person that would take that would be Wonder Woman or another space marine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Mark, how about your and predictions? <laughs> she can't do it. My predictions. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this might be a vain hope. I'm I'm predicting that some Xenos are gonna get some love this year. That's very yeah. vague. You think you think female Xenos as well? Well, it's just I'm that sorry. everything has been so marine centric. They've got to do something to have like someone to fight against. Well, there's been Marines a lot of cool, cool uh, Necron, Necron stuff. Yeah, so but, the new uh, birthday uh, model this year is actually a Necron. So, it would be nice to see some more Xenos stuff for like non Necrons, though. It's the year of the Necron, haven't you heard? No, it's October. It's always October. <laughs> Fuck off. It. And and that. <laughs> hey, Jack it. Chicken Ego. And and you say year of the Necrons, and like Slanesh will get models, <laughs> or like you know, or Guard or somebody. Some Guard love, I won't say no to, but yeah. I don't think Guard will get any love this year no, because no. they're Guard and they never get any. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I my prediction is something will drop for Xenos to to change things up a bit. Hopefully, it'll okay. be like some updated models for some of the really old ones. Yeah, so I've got one of my predictions is that 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 Guardian carcass is a hint that we're going to get we should see some new Guardian models come out. And that's where they should be, carcasses. I do hate Eldar. I, I completely <laughs> sympathise with you there. But Big they shout out to Chris. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't Put out your battlefield! <laughs> <laughs> Only three from P999! So that was it? That's all you had? 
Um, yeah, I'm keeping it kind of light this year because if I go too specific, I'll wind up going, yeah, I was totally <laughs> wrong, like what happened this year. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it would be really cool if we got to see like like a, a Primaris-style Eldar um, because it's been hinted at in a lot of the stuff that's going on, like allying up with the Drukari to create new bodies, to yes. create like Eldar yeah. 2.0. Um, trust if the that Jakari happens, to yeah, bring that'd you be back really cool. Yeah, I mean, so. look, if you can't trust the Dark Eldar to build you a new race of superhumans, who can you trust? Correct, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, Michael. I'm going to ask Anthony what he... Th- no, he's already given his predictions, <laughs> is he? Okay. Oh. Hey, you, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Not to what I predicted last year. Yes, it's true. Don't move too much. Oh, my God, you oh. just ruined it. Do you yeah. want me to tell you my prediction? Yes, are? just but don't move no, so much. Write it down and post it. Come on. Okay, <laughs> we'll go back to snail, snail, snail mail. Snail right. trail? Jesus Christ. I said mail. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go on. I believe my prediction number one is we're going to get a Maelstrom mission pack book so we can play Maelstrom battles again. Ooh. I reckon there's enough talk on YouTube for people who want to play it. After they say that no one plays it, everyone's going, we really want to play this again because it's like all we play. That was all we played. Like, it was good. I hope and I think we'll get it. That's my prediction, number one. Number two, I reckon there'll be a new guard faction. New guard faction? Yeah, and I think Steel Legion or the the Forge World one will make a a move. I know Uh, the GW guys are now writing the books for Forge World. the codexes, I don't, but I don't know if they'll I don't cost. think they're going to bring in tra- licensing. Well, I right. they're trying to move away from armies that are based on historical groups, and the Steel Legion are very German, and no, that's not, not something you want to run with right now. <laughs> Steel Legion, it's the uh, the Elysian. What? No, that's no, 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 no. The drop troops were, and the Kriegers the are the ones that they've kind of legendized. Been pushing away from yeah. on Forge World. But even the Steel Legion, they've got the this kind of German the, vibe. They've got all the face masks with the big long coats and they look sad yeah. all the time. Big trench coats with <laughs> face masks. Sad, They're yeah. not as... Oh, the, the, you mean the the, the Death Corps of Kree? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're super German. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones yeah. that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Death Corps Kree, they're not going to make them a mainline group. Not that. Das Ultra-Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're more likely to bring back the Talan Desert Raiders. Oh, I wish they well, would. Cool. And the Valhalans, too. All right. But anyway, no, I think the Valhalans are finished. They said, like, cannon. They were dead, all of them. Everyone. But Katie is dead, dead too, and they're still bringing space. those out. Space. The Final well, Frontier. Is that, that, is that the Attila <laughs> Rough Riders? Like, the, the Valhalans wouldn't be riding on horses. No, it'd be hard True. to ride. They'd be so. riding on polar bears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I've got a new camera Drink, coming. Riding, riding on their space polar bears, drinking space vodka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Dark bodies! I want this! <laughs> Alright, Joe, what else you it. got? Thank you for the big right. cheer game on, Steve. <laughs> has, anyone see, has anyone played Risk Legacy? Because you can actually play a faction that has freaking bear cavalry. <laughs> so, Tara, awesome. <laughs> Anthony, tell us a story. <laughs> and you... What was that? What was that? you were saying you thought yeah. there was going to be a new guard faction. Yeah. yeah, I think there'll be a new guard faction, and I think the... And the... With bear cavalry. With bear cavalry, no. No, they'll be no. closed. God damn it. <laughs> and I can't remember what the third one was, and I forgot to write it down. So there you go. Cool. <laughs> That'll do for now. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm going to go first because Michael will take forever, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got new models for Eldar because of that hint um, of the, the base there. Oh, that's Box a new armor. Dead models, yes. And, models um, are gone. Yep. <laughs> new model of death. Yes, that's cool. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, the armies and the codex will come out and there'll be more of the the Age of Sigma style data card. So it won't be you have multiple choices, as you hinted before with the Death Guard, that you know, you've got a set um, loadout, essentially. You've already seen it with the Goliath. Is that what the, the new tank's called? 
for Ultramarines? Uh, the for Gladiator. Gladiator. The Gladiator. Yeah, it's got its own data card for each. It's not, I have this tank, well, and then you can arm it with this, or with this, or with this, or with this. It's We're going to have yeah. more of a less options per unit. And you've already hinted that with a Death Guard. That yeah, it sounds like they're doing it. So I think it's going to go across the board I, like that way. I, I hope that happens. Less options is kind of good in some way. We have a when... player who doesn't take a lot of options and still struggles. <laughs> yeah, it, precisely. Um, the, the other thing is that it just cuts down on needing to magnetize stuff. Yeah, or, true. like pretend. Yeah, and well, yeah. the reflection of that is are they getting, getting away from the kit bashing side of things? It's going to be here's your push fit kit. There is There's definitely no a push away from not having specific models for things. Yeah. It's the no models, no rules principle. Yeah. If, if, if they don't have a model for it, there won't be rules <laughs> for it. That's kind of something they've been pushing out for a while. But but how many times <laughs> have you bought a kit and then yeah. realised it doesn't include the weapons options for that model? You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like it sucks getting a Devastator squad and only having two of each type of weapon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like... I ran this over and over again with my uh, cultists. It's like, okay, you know, I want to put shotguns on all of my Atalan bikes. Oh, I can't. There's not enough shotguns in the box. Yeah. yeah oh, shit. I want to put, I want to put single-handed weapons on all of my aberrants. Oh, there's not enough single-handed weapons yeah. in the box. Yeah, the, the same like, with the, the Drakari and the Scourges. All right, these are the best weapons. I want five of these. I only get one. Yeah. Yeah. And whereas, whereas if they go to this is the unit you buy. This is the options it has. This, this is you it. Know, their loadout is this. Options, if you buy want, different yeah. models. So it's not Prior. a... De you've got Devastator Squad and then you've got Annihilator Squad. or a, 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 But there'll be yeah. different armaments, different loadouts. There'll yeah. Be different yeah. units. I, I, I'm happy with that. I like I like And and if you want to mix and match or kit bash or do anything like that, I mean, let's face it, you're going to do that regardless. Primaris are very much like that already. You really only have a different bolt gun choice you can oh. take you know here's a prediction for you there will be another primaris lieutenant i've got that written down <laughs> <laughs> ultramarine primaris lieutenant <laughs> of course because we've got a million of those guys yeah everyone's actually, a lieutenant yeah they've actually kind of gone a little bit the other way with that with some of the marine stuff but also they've gone further into that with the marine stuff yeah. like in eighth edition they had a data card for every single individual captain and Primaris loadout. Yeah. Like there was a separate data card for the captain with the power fist that Dark Angels could get. Like, whereas when the new book, book came out, they've made one thing that's saying you can have, it does still say you can have this exact loadout, this exact loadout, this exact loadout. Like right. it's very restrictive still, but it's only one data card yeah. with a bunch of restrictive options on it instead of the fucking six or whatever they had before. Yeah. Where you have to find Primaris Lieutenant number thirty-five to get yeah. your way out. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, someone yeah. was like, someone was saying, "Oh, well, you can take that." I'm like, "Well, technically, rules as written, I can't take that because the rules don't say I can have that data card. I can only have those ones." Yeah. <laughs> I've just come up with a whole new range of strategies. Uh, I've seen. <laughs> so the only other thing I said: stock levels are going to be shit all year. Just saying. Oh yeah, stock levels are going to be shit all year. Um, I'm still and, trying to get a rule book. Well, last year was horrible. Trying, yeah, you know, look oh. at the Colonel Count of Chan for example. Yeah, you can download the rule book on the Warhammer community site. The basic rules. I've, there. I've yeah, got that. Cool yeah. I I want the book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I need dead more cream. in the book. It's just too big. <laughs> it is. It's bloody huge. Bloody My huge. My prediction, Greg, is ah, that they will book. release the limited edition. Uh, Catachin Captain in October. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, tell us about your other predictions then. <laughs> um, I haven't really thought of any other predictions. That I, I feel like we need those Primaris Eldar hmm. and that we need new Eldar models. Um, possibly some new Orc models wouldn't go astray either. Like, yes. There's so many old Xenos armies. Um, but I don't think we'll see orcs get. They, they had their big October with a they, lot of new vehicles, had, not the main core. But yeah, they had but a lot they of didn't vehicles. get new orc models, which are still no. pretty old. No, they're, they're not. not. The other thing I'd like to see is GW 
releasing bulk packs for swarm armies because buying yeah. boys and gants by 10 is bullshit. Well, I'm sorry. You could be onto something because, you know, the pox walkers now you can actually buy in a box of 10 as opposed to a box of 6, which is pointless because they come, you know, a squad of 20. Oh, yeah. It means I have well, to buy a minimum of four boxes and throw away four bottles, you far out. That's not fun. Do they still sell fucking skeleton warriors in boxes of 10? Like, last time I played Warhammer, they were selling boxes of skeleton warriors if in 10 models when you needed 40 to 80 skeleton warriors. Yeah. Like... And, and I mean, surely at the point where, you know, these armies are... You know, you, you have half the people that would ordinate, you know, buying these swarm armies that, you know, would ordinarily buy space marines. Surely <laughs> there's volume there. Yeah. If I need but... five times as many models as a space marine player, they're making their money back. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess they're like, they don't have to. We'll buy it anyway. Yeah, it's, kind that's of. marketing. They're going to they're gonna make a profit. You're going to oh, buy it anyway. Let's all yeah, just they... switch to custodes and we'll be fine. <laughs> I did put a thousand points together. And, oh, I can do that. Under five hundred bucks, easy. Whew. No new army. No new army. Walk away. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> we'll 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 play custodes kill team <laughs> with the one model one, or one half a one. <laughs> I brought the halberd. That's my army. <laughs> well, if everybody else does it, and then it's like death match. <laughs> That's it. So, what other predictions you had? What sorry? Um, I don't really think I have any uh, cool. other than that for this year. It's. I think it's a light year. I don't think we have got it, high yeah. expectations from them this year. Um, because yeah, we're just of, hoping you know, they don't fuck us this year. And we'll be happy. Yeah. We will see semi regular releases <laughs> of codexes because they have to. Yeah, yeah the new I think codexes. we should see all the codexes by Christmas, hopefully. But I was thinking they were going to do two a month, but January's had one, and that was one that was meant to be done in January, uh, December. So, yeah. no, yeah, we we do need them though because yeah, we do. the new codex are insanely powerful compared to the old ones. Correct. So that great segue, Anthony, because I did put up a post earlier to say what are the next five codexes to come out. I want to go first because. That way it doesn't sound like I'm copying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we'll finally see... Can I see... go last so that I can like hear about what some of the actual factions are? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, I bought the Space Marine Codex and I haven't even looked at it. Do the Ultra Marine characters are in there or not? Yes. They are. So they won't get their own book. They're already in there. Oh, I'll have to add another book. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I, I feel that we'll see every second book will be a Space Marine chapter. Um, I've, I've got, I reckon Eldar are close. Uh, I've got Imperial Fists, Thousand Suns, Salamanders, hoping, and Chaos. That, that's my, Chaos as in not the demons, but Marines. That's my five. Top that. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> I reckon I reckon they're very likely to do what they did last time, drop a bunch of marine supplements at once or very close to each other. Um, rather than giving them their own slots in order to release more of them faster to get the non marine stuff scattered in there. So stuff like Imperial Fists and Salamanders will probably be all kind of smooshed together again. They were last time, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'd be surprised if they don't do that again. Um, Are you reckon I all would... the Dark Angels and Space Wolves would probably get their solo because they're a bit more... Yeah, well, they've already done codes. Space Wolves, haven't they? Didn't they already do Space Blood Wolves? Angels, or am I... Death Watch. I'm sure they did Space Wolves before Death Watch. You might be right, actually. I think you might be right, yeah. Yeah, because they haven't done Dark Angels yet. I'd I know that, but um, yeah, I'm hoping the Dark Angels will be soon. Personally, because I just want the bloody Dark chatter. Angel rules. It's going on in the text. It's, yeah. 
definitely have done space wolves. <laughs> there you go. I don't know anything. Yeah. I can only do. Children. So there's only really dark angels that have their own sort They've of. Done ultramarines because no. I'm not seeing this. Stuff ultramarines is just bloody codex. the normal codex. The normal codex. <laughs> no, the, no, they're not. Rules. No, I don't think so. They don't have. There's no. They're not. Cal... None of their characters are in there. So there you go. I had ultramarines as the that, top one because they now got taken out of That's good. It's good. <laughs> no one likes ultramarines. <laughs> Hey. Anyone who's familiar with my uh, hobby Ultra nights, Marine, we know that story. Yeah, only Primark on the station. <laughs> yeah, I, I suspect that, uh, that the chaos will be high up there. Yep. Uh, I'd like to see the Eldar high up there. Um, and the uh, bloody... the orcs. Yeah. And there'll be... the marines will be scattered in there between those. <laughs> yeah. What are we going for? Five next five? Can yeah, just... five, but I think... Um, yeah. Michael just listed all of them. So... <laughs> no, I didn't list like sisters or Tau or Jakari or demons or tyranids. Knights. I, I expect or knights. I hope. Tyranids and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I expect tyranids and Drakari to come in fairly soon Jukari. because uh, uh, apparently um, I've been hearing rumblings in the meta that um, with the latest FAQ that the, those two factions are on the rise. Wow. So I'd imagine that they probably will come in with a book to nerf them or something. Oh, I the dropped out there for a second. Written. Which factions? Tyranids and uh, Drukhari. Tyranids and Drukhari. Yeah? Be cool. Yeah. I've, I've been hearing rumblings about the YouTubes that, um, yeah, the, the FAQ has done really good things with the points and stuff for them. So, um, yeah, they're, they're potentially showing up. Oh, yes, yes, the points. All right. Who hasn't given the five? Tara? Anthony? Don't um, move. So I think uh, what Michael said, the supplements will probably come out, I think, in, in doubles. So we'll probably see. I'm, I'm expecting Dark Angels and probably an Imperial Fist one to come out about the same time. Uh, I think Guard are going to be very high on the list as a, something to come out. Elder, definitely. They just they just need some loving. Yeah. Uh, I've put orcs next, and then I put Tau. Tau. Yeah. We always forget about Tau because you know hooves. You're a Tau. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Tally band? Yeah. I think it's time for a bit of Xenos stuff. I'd really like to see Tyranids, but I don't know. I don't think they've got the fan base. I just don't know. Well, we better post our Starship Troopers and get that fan base. We did. We did. Fly rent for the win. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, jeez. How many shots could one fly rent oh take? Oh, my God. It was, to... it, was, <laughs> it was depressing. Depressing. Yeah. All right. Um, Isabel, the person who's in the know, finger on the pulse. I actually think Tower up next. Next. Wow. I think they're going to be very, very soon because they are supposed to be the natural opponent of the Necrons and the Necrons are on the rise so you would expect that they would try to get the natural opponent of the Necrons out as quickly as freaking possible. I think the sisters will be last a fucking game. That means the 10th edition what, will be out. I'm, I'm what curious they will where... do is that they'll put rules in all sorts of other like media to stuff. get I'm, I'm to, curious to where this um, natural opponent of the Necrons thing comes I was from. I was actually going to say because it's like Eldar if you look but at Eldar, shit, and no when, when the Cicatrix maledict when the, 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 the Cicatrix maledictum opened up one of the big things on the map the Cicatrix maledictum have a drink uh, when <laughs> the Cicatrix maledictum Cicatrix <laughs> You're doing what with the what? Uh, <laughs> so when it opened up, right, the Tau Empire got like smashed by Necrons. It's surrounded by them. They're everywhere. Like okay. so, in the block, that's supposed to be one of the big conflicts going on. Necrons v Tau. Yes, that's what I'm like, talking. The whole about. Tau Empire is in danger of being wiped out by Necrons right now. I know, which is why they fucking hate. Call them the cavalry. Yeah. <laughs> they they want to wipe out the Necrons for the greater good. See? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just thinking in terms of war in heaven, but 
I know. I just love that Attack Chicken. Attack Chicken told me to say Great Rift because it's easier and misspelled Great Rift. Yeah, yeah great. <laughs> I just think. I just think no. no she, she, fortunately genius. for the Eldar, I love the Eldar. I do. Honestly, if I wasn't a Space Marine player, I'd be an Eldar player. And if I wasn't an Eldar player, I'd probably just be a person that drinks a lot and comes on a podcast and doesn't know anything. <laughs> I'll see if there's a yeah, slide open for you. Um, so, um, yeah, no, I, I just think... Uh, so the next one's I'd say we're going to get Tau fairly early. I'd say we are going to get Eldar fairly soon because of the psych awakening thing and everyone's just like well what are you gonna do with that yeah. um i think they'll come out with that uh i reckon we're gonna get some chaos factions uh as well as some freaking space marine factions because of course uh and then i think tail end tail end of nine i reckon we'll get sisters because they'll just update the eight shit that they did earlier don't forget inquisition because they have yeah Ooh, yeah but they're not a faction is. anymore seriously they're not a faction anymore they've just no. they're just like oh but that's a different game they are agents of the imperium they're attack on yeah um that actually reminds me of something i was going to bring up kind of not necessarily as a prediction but something i would like to see yeah uh other than a lion model in 40k you cowards make the lion <laughs> uh, bring back I'd, Vulcan. I'd like them to progress progress some of those storylines from the psychic awakening yeah i want to see what's going on with the town and the necrons i want to find see out what's happening with yeah. fucking elder that they've all just killed them i want to find out what's well, happening with the I, fucking elder I've i want to find out where, where fucking um yeah well as what, i said i've said in several Spock podcasts has been doing in his secret awakening? workshop basement you know, I, yeah. I want to know what Bile is doing with that uh, custodes he captured. Exactly. Oh yeah, they that's where the chaos marines that we're waiting. You will get the chaos <laughs> marines. will get the primaris. But that's what I said. It felt like to me the psychic awakening was and right. Moving on. They lost a lot of ideas, but they didn't follow any of them through yet. Yeah. So I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. Yeah, I thought it was a. It felt like it's. T- let's entertain them while we do something else. It was Which is why we need another lion, really, wasn't it? Because we need the lion and we need Fulgrim. We need more Primarchs. Vulcan! Oh, why? Find them. Oh, Fulgrim can I make a back really, a really radical Fulgrim. fucking prediction? Like the most radical prediction that we've had so far. Mr. Squiggle comes in and takes over the world. I predict that they're going to release an Emperor miniature. <laughs> Either in 30k. Or whatever, but they're already thirty k could actually miniature. do it. It would yeah. make sense. I know, I know. They use this gig's very good and Emperor amazing gold. Miniature there you go. Works. Prediction. Somebody um, pulls the plug. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have the hair for it. Look, there's there's a lot of inquisitorial factions that have been trying to pull the plug yeah, for a long bloody that. time. But um, I like I think that. Fulgrim has been edging us even longer than that land speeder. So I, <laughs> I'd be nice if Fulgrim would come out. Gotta say, I right. So we've got our, our actual predictions. Now it's gone into what do we want? Basically. <laughs> I want well, look, I all want of the my Emperor. predictions have been what I want. No, I have no idea what they're actually gonna do. <laughs> I want female space marines. That's what I want. I know it's not gonna happen, but that's what I want. No, I, I, I unfortunately I think it won't happen. I think it should, but I I, I want a Primar, uh, Primarch to come back other than Bobby G because he's yeah, carrying the back. team. I want my lion. <laughs> or Russ or like in, any of them that fucked off into the Eye Well, of yeah, Terror. there's a lot of them who fucked off into the Eye of Terror who were supposed to come back in the greatest need, our greatest need. None of those fuckers have showed up and the lion's still having a sleppy slep. Like... Mm. Yeah. Or how about this? Some Legion of the Damned, love. They're legendized. Hmm. I don't they're care. They're I want them back, out, honey. I mean, yeah. I've been officially told to fuck off. Bobby G? Everyone calls him Bobby G. Come on. No, I Chicken. genuinely get it that the Legion of the Damned is out. I get it. Cool models. You can't have, you can't have fucking ghosts. Sorry. Oh, you can. Thousand oh, Sons! They're just <laughs> demons. <laughs> just they're up. just like, oh, I'll just choose not to be shot, shall I? March forward. Now I'm going to murder you with my real-life bullets. 
That's Damon Dunstan. That's, Damon Dunstan. That's, that's a whole codex of demons, and all they are is physical manifestations of fuck you. That's all they are. You can shoot them. You can shoot them. Oh, unless they can't. don't get shot. Not, like, unless that's in the law. not unless your bullets are blessed. Yeah, in the lore, demons just don't get shot most of the time when you shoot them. That's why they have an invulnerable save, because yeah. it just doesn't work all the time. <laughs> Anthony, what do you want to see this year? Look, I would really like to see some jump packs on my um, Primaris intercessors. I, oh, fuck, that's I'm, scary. That's, it's just ridiculous, assault. Some fucking running. jump pack assault. Primaris. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all I want. That's it. I'm happy. <laughs> he blocked I, his jetpacks. Yeah. I would like to and see. Rocket boot. I like to see new tanks for the guard. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that was another thing I was going to mention. I would like to see some some sister and guard stuff because when eighth came out, they like released it with marines, necrons, guards, and sisters. They were all in that cutscene. Yes, the they guard were. and the sisters have had jack shit. Yes, and I'm have. probably going to continue getting jack yeah. shit. New tanks. Uh, so, you know, Lehman Rust is a staple. Everything. Absolutely. But new tanks, come on. Some stuff to replace all the tanks they've been losing. Like, they've lost a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, a lot of the Forge World line's gone away. Yeah. Uh, we lost our salamanders. We lost all kinds of jank from the old they, days. They of the got a everything. salamander. Thank you, Tara. Yeah, you're welcome. Guard <laughs> need a complete overhaul. Every miniature. Yeah. Ooh. New singlets, new flashlights. Yep. I tell you something, I would really like. Get to the see dolphin it. flashlight. It'd cost them tuppence. <laughs> I'd like to see some other chapter-specific models coming out, other than oh. just one for each. Yeah. Primaris, and I, look, I know no one wants to see more space marines, but I'd really like to see Sanctuary Guard move into, yeah, you know, Primaris. Yeah. You know, yep. Some some really with you know chapter specific symbols some of the dante dante has not changed since second edition of 40k yeah. and i saw the same image but it was dante second third fourth fifth sixth seventh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd like yeah to see when they when they drinks. released mephiston i was yeah. like surely they're going to redo dante but yeah. no yeah. well look we're still using azrael and ezekiel yeah, from the same. Oh my god! My camera just did the, the same thing. book. Like I've got the magazine from White Dwarf where they came out, and it's the same one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they came out as a codex together in second, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Codex that's, Angels of Death. That's a great codex. At least so, a Baden got a new mini. <laughs> Sorry. Abaddon At least a Baden got yeah. a new mini. Oh, that's that's right. Right. A new mini. Even yeah. Fail Baden has a new fucking mini. Fabius Miles has a new mini. Yeah, Fabius. Yeah. Fabulous Biles got a fucking model. Where's the new uh, guard model? Uh, well, we've got. Oh, sorry, take that back. We do have the Colonel, which you no know, one can get unless which they sold like half of one. But, no, I mean like general availability. Yeah, they yeah, need yeah. new guard models in general. Yeah. I'd love to see plastics of Valhalla and Tartarin and stuff. Oh, yeah. that'd be awesome. Because yeah. I, I wanted a Valhalla, but you know, I'm not building a fucking full metal army. Well. <laughs> yeah, like, it, that's kind of a lot of what Vic Minis run right? on. That they sell, like, she sells resin um, copy. Like, she does uh, the, what are they, Svengaren Soldats, which are Valhallans. Yeah. Uh, she does resin Mordians. She does resin uh, all of the old guard groups. Yeah. Yeah. She does resin versions of those in male and female. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, and that's like her whole business model is selling those guard. Yeah. So that's what I would like to see. New tanks for the Imperial Guard. I love my Lemon Russes. It's all good, but everyone else is getting new tanks, getting new guns and stuff like that. So, you know, we're now facing people who have two wounds, three plus armor, and I've still got my flashlight. <laughs> yeah! Fixed bayonets. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And then there's a lot of traits out there that you minus the damage down to a minimum of one. Okay, well, even if I hit you more than once, it's still going to do nothing. So. <laughs> Hot shot las guns for all guard. But at 24 inches. With a longer range. So still yeah, strength three, AP. but a minus one AP. I'll take that. Well, I was just thinking of the bloody, what is it, the solar auxilla from 30k, who were like, from memory, were basically the scions, but guard levels of numbers mm. yeah 
I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Mark, what do you want to see? I've yelled that across several yeah, times. Okay, no. good. So Mark's so, already told us I'll go back and listen to the podcast. So I'd like, I'll be I'd like another it. I'd like another oh, Volk, Primark yeah. to come come back out, you know, yeah. Lion, Russ, you know, the oh, Khan, the any, any he's the oh, heck, the Khan, that'd be cool. You know. Any of them that are on their gap year that have basically buggered off, they're still dry. Uh, watch. Um, I'd like, I'd like new, uh, new guard minis. I'd like new orc minis. I'd like, um, I'd like loyalist Fulgrim clone. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I'd like chaos uh, custodes. Chaos oh custodes. yeah, like an equivalent to them. That would That's be what sweet. Fabius Files been working on. Well, um, yeah, it's going to be the Primaris of Chaos, yeah. And yeah, Primar, uh, yeah, yeah, Eldar, Eldar models. Yeah, they they new need ones. to be new too. Remember, what's the last time apart from you know the two models they got? Yeah, like Psychic Awakening was like, here's a, some special edition models, and like we're like, okay, for sure they got to be doing like Guardians and stuff. Yeah. And then it was just nothing, and you're like, huh? <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff that came out in Psychic Awakening that felt like a taster. It yeah. it it felt like October. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was a whole gamut of October. It's a pre-order where everything up. sold out. Yeah, <laughs> it was like stop bad. stop rubbing it on my on my lips uh, on my gums and give me the real fucking stuff. Shove it right <laughs> in my nose. Stick it right up my ah, nose. So, have I missed anyone who wants to give their what they want to see? I have nothing, I'm sorry. Yeah. Alright. What are your goals for this year then? Michael? Me? Oh no, is oh, go on. What's your goals in All the right, hobby world? I'm just gonna clarify that in the hobby world. Oh shit. <laughs> I was gonna go really I was gonna go yeah, I know. Finished. Different All podcast. Right, so <laughs> my goals for this year I think are to finish building the Necromunda miniatures that I bought for four hundred and fifty dollars and actually play a single fucking game. Good game. Good, she will good play game. a game and then she'll come That's back it. to the next podcast and be, I know this now. What you need to do is... <laughs> <laughs> but why do I need to play to do that? That's a good point. Right, Michael. <laughs> what are you, what, what's, your, what's your challenge this year? My hobby goals are pretty much the same hobby goals I've had the last two years almost which is just try and finish some of the freaking projects that i've started in previous years yeah. you know i want to paint more of my dark angels i want to play with a fully painted dark angel army <laughs> well you got it now because the the, the the group has spoken if you yeah. have an unpainted model you do suffer the 10 victory points there you go it's harsh. now i reckon i know marks here we go paint Two models this year. No, I might be able to manage that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I, I figure if I keep the goal small, <laughs> it might happen, and then I can exceed it, <laughs> and then I've won. <laughs> what the, so okay, fair enough. Nothing else. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's it. it. Done. Oh, yeah, you yeah. know, modest goals, baby steps. <laughs> What about you, Anthony? Well, I'm on a bit of a sort of a savings spree at the moment. So what I've got is going to be paid, which isn't much now. Indominus is really about it. Um, so I want to game more. I want to get me as many meets we can do. Yep. I'll, I'll do those. I want to try and... I'm going to try and focus on only a couple of... Do you of want to get more than just prosciutto then? I want cheese of it. Please. I was going to say, why, why would you get more than prosciutto and cheese? Because he said meat. Because I want to play good. I, play I thought he might want ham and bacon and chorizo. I love chorizo. <laughs> get, a, get, get yourself a lovely shark coochie board. Anyway, I want to play Necromunda too. And I really want to get some more games happening because that, oh, look, I love that game. That one proper game I've had against Michael is <laughs> awesome fun. <laughs> so no, oh, that's the other goal. We need to play each other. We, we haven't played we haven't each other in 40k yet. Never at played all. 40K. Really? 
Yeah. yeah. No. Not even right. in the slow group because of all the cancellations and stuff. We missed okay. each other. So the next yeah. meet, there might be an artificial randomness to the next meet. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> well, yeah, during the slow grow, we both got buys at the same time because mm. people oh, dropped, dropped out. out. And that, was, that was it. We never got a chance to have a game. Wow. So, well, yeah. I have to televise that one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, prediction... No, no, predictions, one of the goals. Uh, look, I'm going to continue with the stream and, and get as much of it done and get everything painted that I already own. Um because I would like to get a new army. I don't know what it is, but I can't do that until everything's painted. Can I can I an army or two? I've got a couple of armies up here you can just, like, have. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to play Necromunda because I haven't done so I'm yet. Oh, boy, here's what he got. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got the Land Raider. <laughs> Pre-handprint. I've, I've got a little bit of guard. I've got mostly Space Marines, so. though. Well, I was, I was going to say, it sounds like if Iz comes up for business in Canberra someday, we should play some bloody Necromunda. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if Done. I can get to Canberra without isolating, well, yeah, I you I know, know right now, this whole situation. <laughs> but the trouble is that I've got a gig that I paid tickets for next week in Newtown, and though my suburb's not in the red zone, Newtown, Newtown is. is. Oh, so I can't get always Canberra. Newtown. And you know what? I like going to gigs. We got one coming up, Anthony. It's very exciting. Live music. I know. I know. What is that? I know. It's like I've 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 been to one gig since 2019. Devil skin. Devil skin. Yep. We're gonna go see Devil skin. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. You guys got in uh, at the basement, did you? We did. We did. did. Yeah. 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 Devil skins. A new miniature coming out from GW. It was actually good with the name of my Chaos Night Force if I get it out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Devil Skin. <laughs> you can call me Mr. Skin. What? Praise be to Corn. Blood for the Blood God. Yes. <laughs> That's what he's calling oh time. my God, have I told you all? I don't know. Did I tell you this last time? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> So I was, um, I showed my kids. Yes, so my, the, my kids. Oh, the blood for blood god thing. Yes, yes, you have. Yes. They were right into horror. Go back to listen to 34. Again. God, it was funny. Oh my God. Anyway, oh. they keep doing it. Every time we watch horror, they're like, blood for the blood god. <laughs> like, oh my God, what am I Get them in done? early. Get them in early. All right. <laughs> so we have say. been rambling. We've been rambling a lot tonight, i got to say. It's a longer episode than normal, but that's fine. Sometimes the cameras behave for Anthony. Sometimes that's just what he looks like. Anyone else got anything to say? I love you all. Good night. So our predictions are done. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we got. I think we're all fairly light on our predictions because, you know, the world at the moment is pretty crazy. We're not getting any high expectations. Um, but we're pissed off when we don't get them. Sums it up, real. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you for everyone who's joining us on the chat. <sighs> good luck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just good luck. <laughs> All right, so you can catch us. Obviously, you can see the links down below when you're watching the video side of things. But for you people who are listening to us via your ears, as opposed to your feet, shut up. You can find us on RLG40K on Facebook, RLG40K on Instagram, Twitter, at RLG Oz Gaming. Oh, I should have just thrown to Michael about our Instagram one because he loves when I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> How about our, face, uh, our YouTube one, Michael? Uh, is that RLG40K Oz no. Gaming or something? No, no, it's not. Uh, no. Uh, sure. Anyone? Oh, we... Anyone? I've got nothing. The only one I know is Twitter, and you've already said it. <laughs> RLG Real Loud Gamers, because that's apparently what it stands for. It does. Oh, yeah, Real, Real Loud, Loud Gamers. Gamers. Yeah. Uh, if, if you want to follow us and, and, and throw a subscription in it, we'll tell you what it actually stands not for. Reticulating <laughs> love goats. It's not reticulating love goats. No, no. No, you don't want to reticulate that. You do not want to reticulate your love goat. They're already <laughs> reticulated. <laughs> Uh, coming up in the RLG world, I think it's the 6th of February, we are hosting our Glitz and Glamour Awards Night. 
Woo! So we will actually finally find out who won the best painted minis for 2020. You dress up for that? Uh, I do. I put pants on. I've, I've, got, I've, I've, got, I've got some sequin dresses. I'll yeah. probably eat a pork pie or two. <laughs> I, I mean, I've got a but with a fork to, to be classy. I can dress up and come down if I haven't been to Newtown two weeks before. Yeah. So that is coming up. We'll take some footage. I don't know how live will be, um, as in, in streaming. We'll be live there, obviously. Um, we what else have we got coming up? Uh, oh, look at that! Screams and shouts. All right, Tuesday night podcast. Nick, got coffee on Wednesday. Tuesday nights. I am <laughs> continuing with the hobby night on Tuesdays and Thursday nights, so you can catch me going. Oh, look! I know how to use a brush. Fuck! No, I don't. Join me. <laughs> Same channel here, Red Belly, twitch.tv slash Red Belly. Uh, we also will be starting some Dice Thrones on Sunday night. Uh, once a fortnight or once a month, I'm not sure yet. Um, so we're going to try Sunday night's a bit of board game-esque thing, so keep an eye out on that. And these three people, four people are going, what the fuck are you talking about? Because I well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be trying to stream me writing a fucking book. Awesome. Because I need to finish the goddamn thing, and I'm looking at Wednesday nights as my night. Cool. We'll see how we go. I think we're trying to do a bit more of the social media side of things for the group, so you'll see more of us and not just my face, as pretty as it is. <laughs> He's just going to take photos of his ass. That's right. I'm moving the camera. Where? It's that one, the camera with a long stream. Going to get some lovely footage of his sloppity bile piper. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking of, no doubt Michael will start doing some streaming, right? I was actually going to say that uh, if the stars align, I might try and do some streaming this year. Um, But we'll see how things go, eh? Because life is cray-cray. It is cray-cray. And if we're really lucky, we might get the one stream in the one part of the one time, one year, Mark will paint a model. (laughs) (laughs) Look at him, he's excited. You have to buy new paints every time you start again because they've all dried out. (laughs) My paints don't dry out. I don't get what people complain about. He hasn't opened them yet. I I, I dry out. (laughs) My paints dry out week before I used them. The really old paints tended yes. not to. Game I've right. got I've yeah. got second edition paints that haven't dried out yet. I <laughs> have I do too. I've I've got them on I've the I've lost a few paints just recently because they wouldn't close properly. I, open up I, I, I have them. I honestly I have them. Honestly. He's got them. <laughs> They're right there. Yeah. <laughs> old school marine ah. box. Uh, all of those are usable. Yeah, but they're yeah, like the good pots. Them. They're the good pots, not these new ones. Or current ones. Not that new. Um, yes, Game on Steve. Of course, it's our gala night is called We're Going to the Pub. <laughs> what else are we going to do? <laughs> eat pies. Eat pies. Um, Delicious pies. We also have another one of our group who does regularly stream. Make sure you check out Scotty D forty nine. I always get that wrong, but I believe it is correct this time. Forty nine. He does he does good stuff on same time as me. So no, I will not tell you that. <laughs> Watch me. <laughs> uh, apart from that, let's go away. Have a good day and say good night. How's that? Here's good night, everybody. Good night. Mark, have a lovely week. Bye, everybody. Have a lovely week. We'll see you next month. Good night. I'll say goodnight too. Yes, so next month we'll have to come up with some exciting new adventures for that night. Meanwhile, Michael's going to say bye. <laughs> Meadow, Meadow, all. How did the hobby treat us all? What will 2021 bring? Some of us saw the light and some of us just talked shit. Will our hopes come true? Join us next month for more Wobbly Player Syndrome.